uh, in today's class, first I'll show the demonstration on how you can access the attributes of the structure. And after discussing that, I'll show you how you can implement stack using linked list. Okay, so assume that uh, I want to create a structure of student. So what is important? What are the important attributes I need to have in student structure? Okay, so you know, every student will share the common properties. That is, they will have unique, uh, for uh, unique identification, US, USN number. Okay, I'll just write in small letter only. And uh, I'll make it as integer. Usually in our college, our VTU, they're having 10 character for USN, but here I'm using integer value only. Then character array name, okay, 30. Then, so marks, okay. I'm identifying student with this attributes, right? You know what is attributes, all that in DBMS you have learned, okay. Now, the moment I have created this structure, so whatever I have written, is it, is it right? Whatever I have written, is that right? Yes, this is how you are going to declare structure. Yes, sir. Yes, yes ma'am. Please tell me the answer. Yes, ma'am. No. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Now, how do you declare a variable of struct student? So this is a user-defined data type. Okay. Integer, you already know, it is a built-in data structure. It will store how many bytes of memory for USM. It is integer data type. So oh. how many bytes is required? Two bytes. Two bytes. Name? It's a character and how many characters we are uh, having here? 30, 30 characters, right? 30 bytes. Totally how many bytes? 30 bytes. Yeah. Then marks? Two bytes. Yeah. So totally how many bytes of memory is allocated when you create a variable of type student? 34 yeah. bytes. Yeah, exactly 34. Then how do you create the variable of type struct student? Is this the way? Yeah, yes. Okay, so what is S here? S is a variable of type struct student. Now, I'll not create array of uh, uh, struct student uh, variable, just one student information will access here. So for that, um, anyway, uh, I'll just clear the screen before displaying the contents of the structure. Okay, then. do like this and write one by one how do you uh, input data for student uh, student variable so how do you access the attributes of struct student do you remember printf accept student information if i see like this okay so what is the first attribute here what is the first attribute of student usn usn yeah usn into usn 
I'll just say USN, it's enough. Okay, so USN. Next, you need to accept data for USN, right? How do you accept data for USN? Scan if, yeah. So since it is a variable, okay, it is not a pointer. Yes dot USN. How do you input data for USN of struct student? Yeah, how do you access? So variable name is S s dot dot operator you are you required to use s dot usn then how do you accept the data is it percentage d only yes yeah am i required to use s dot uh, ampersand s dot usn is that right i'm going to use arrow like uh i'm not using uh Pointer. Okay. When I'm not using pointer, is it required to use our you? What I need to use? Okay, now can you please tell me here? Name. So here is dot. Name. And then next next is what s dot name can i accept like that instead of that get s i can can i use get s hmm? percentage yes. t. yeah so instead of percentage t or otherwise what kind of uh, like here i need to use yes percentage s huh? Percentages. Okay, what I'll do is now I'll use get s so that we'll come to know how to use this get s also. Yeah, then next one is marks, right? Marks. Okay, so here, how do I accept that? Marks. S dot marks. So look at here, how do you access? the data of structure or how do you get the information for structure s dot usn s dot name and s dot marks so that is what you are required to do then after that you are required to print the contents you have accepted from the user so what you have accepted that you are required to print how do you get print dot yeah how do you print that can you please tell me So here instead of this can if okay so okay let me use only one printf statement nf okay so usn here how do i print the usn now format string do i require to use format string yes this should be replaced with what s of s dot you need to answer otherwise anyway i have written the program i'll show I will show the program. So how do you print print this? Is there any percentage is kind of thing? Yes, ma'am. 
Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so how do you print that name? Is that right what I'm writing? Yes or no? Please tell the answer. Yes, ma'am. So then how do I print the marks? Percentage D? Yes? Yes, dot marks. Yes, dot? Marks. Marks. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we'll see whatever program I have written is right or not. Okay. Um, six errors are there. Okay, very good. So what is the mistake we have, have done here? Then everywhere same mistake. So none of you have told me that I have not ended with the what? Double quotes, isn't it? Now, look at here. USN, I'll just enter as one. Okay. Name. Look at here, it's skipping. Why it is skipping here? Mm. So name, nothing is printed and for marks it is printing zero. Okay, so we'll trace this. How to trace this here? Do you remember what I told you how to trace line by line? Yeah, yes, F7, isn't it? Yeah. So after accepting the USN, okay, then look at here. What I have used here is percentage D is uh, right for USN? Yes. But get S, how do you how do I accept the data for get S? Okay. Be instead of asking you, I'll just enter some data for USN. Say 10, I'll accept and press. F7, the moment it come here for get S line, we'll see what, are, what data is being stored here in this. S not USN, is 10 exactly right. And all D, W, so S dot name. Okay, so look at here, S dot name is now it is what it's showing here. So empty string, isn't it? Yeah, so F7. Okay, why it has, it has taken it as empty string? Yeah, please, you have to answer all this. It's a basic thing. Okay, now what I'll do is, okay, forget about this also. Okay, you people will not answer. Let me not ask you anything. Okay, if this is the case, I'll not show the demo. Right away, I'll show the execution. Okay, look at. For marks, I'll enter now 90. Okay, look at. We'll see what it's going to print now. Okay. So we'll see the output window, what's printing. For US and 10, have you accepted 10 only? Yeah, Abhita? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Karthik? Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. Then I'll just go to the previous window. That is uh, all four, I think, no. Uh, All two. Okay, it is there in uh, whatever program I'm demonstrating now. It is in window, second window. How do you switch to that window? All two, right. Okay, now, so F7, I'll just press again. We'll see uh, output window is in five. So all five, okay, look at here. Nothing is being printed for name. Okay, then again, I switch to second window. Okay, now, I'll trace this line of code. We'll see what gets printed in that output output window that is in alt five. Okay, is that right? 
but why it has been taken null string for name any answer any answer yeah so everything is pakka perfect but the thing is it's not executing properly or it's not taking the input for the name so why because whatever enter you are pressing here that enter is taken as the input for this is dot name that's why it is showing it as the empty string so before accepting the data for name you have to clear the buffer a flush std in isn't it you people might have used this use madi dira yes ma'am yes, ma yes okay am i right am i right yes, yes. ma'am now look at here it's waiting for you to input something okay um, okay now 90 yes is that right what we are printing yes or no but is it formatted neatly no so every after every information so after printing that you have to go to the new line or otherwise it will print in the same line that doesn't look good isn't it so for that use slash okay now we have created the variable of type struct student right and how do you access the data for the structure attributes so s dot usn s dot name and s dot marks but if you are declaring it as a pointer okay so how do you access the data is it dot operator arrow arrow exactly so this is arrow operator you are required to use okay so wherever a dot is there you have to replace with arrow so look at here so how do you create the pointer variable you know that pointer will hold the address of another variable okay so here when at the moment i use ampersand okay so it will create some address in that address you are storing the value okay now here arrow use this arrow here and here also make use of arrow and then so do i require to do the change here also yes yes sir yeah okay next am i right so please uh, don't forget to use this f flush std in whenever you are inputting character or it may be a string okay so if you are required to input character or uh, string before that use this f flush std in then whatever like uh, problem we have faced no while executing that kind of situation will not arise you got it now yeah so why to use f flush std in yes or no yeah yes ma'am is answer yes ma'am hi hey, ma'am okay so let it be 10 okay okay am i right now yes sir no Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So same thing. We have accepted accepted the data for one variable. That is one student information we got. But how do you get the information for many students? What I need to do? Yes. Array. Array of structures. How do you do that? Ten. Okay. So remaining all. you can write it by yourself so try to write a program i'll just share this program okay so just accept the data for five students and display the five students data that you try to do it by yourself okay that is the assignment for today's lab okay so now i have uh, like shown you 
how to create a structure and how to access the members of the structure. So how many members are there in the structure now? Three members, USN, name and marks. Okay, so with this introduction, I think you people are ready to implement, start using linked list, isn't it? Yeah. Are you ready? Hmm? Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Bigger actor, yeah. Demo tour speed la direct tagi. Anyway, program is there. Are you not following? I want your feedback. Please talk to me. Following, ma'am. Yeah. We are following, ma'am. Following, ma'am. Yeah. So then you have to be proactive. Okay. Then only I can make you interesting. Make this topics interesting. Fine. I'll just make the tile arrangement here. And before that, I'll just delete this um, watch window and message window. Um, <coughs> okay. Alt F3. will make the tile arrangement so when i make this as tile arrangement so you can see parallel so this is array implementation and how this array implementation is different from linked list implementation we'll see here with comparison okay <coughs> so here uh, the maximum size of the stack is Five, and we are declaring a stack array of stack that is array is what is the name of the array is yes. and how many data it can store or how many values it can store so maximum of five data it can store and initially we have initialized the top equal to minus one but here how do i declare the stack okay so i said in linked list it consisting of node connected with the pointer so how do you traverse through the nodes of the linked list by using the pointer field isn't it so every node contains two information the first information is called the data information field and the second one contains the pointer field which is pointing to the next node or otherwise, which will hold the address of the next node. Obviously, so we need to have two data in the structure. So every node, how I am de uh, defining the node here, struct node int data, struct node start because what kind of data we are holding here? It's an address of the next node. So obviously, you have to declare a pointer of type struct node next. So next is a pointer which will hold the address of the next node. Is this declaration clear to you all? Is this declaration clear to you all? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, thank you. Next is here you are initializing top equal to minus one. But here, because it's a linked list and it's a pointer, top is a pointer variable with what you have to initialize because you have to make this pointer invalid. If you want to make this as invalid pointer because it does, uh, stack initially does not contain anything, top you have to initial with what value? Null, right? Top is null. Okay. So as usual, you are performing some operations on the stack, like whatever menu I have written, look at here, same I have written here. Same thing is there, isn't it? But one more operation I'm performing on the stack here, that is speak. 
So what is peak here? It will just display the top element of the step. That's it. It will be returning what? Here also you can have this peak operation. So what it should return? Yes of top it will return. That's all. Okay. That's it. It will be doing. Okay. That is what is being included. That's it. Okay. Is there any change? Okay. So menu remains same. Okay. Next. Look at here. Coming to the display part. Assume, assuming that, okay, I'll not uh, uh, come to the display part. So let me discuss the push operation. Okay, so we'll see how to push data into the stack. So that let us discuss first here. <coughs> so initially what, uh, what is the content of the stack initially? It may be array or linked list. So array here, what is the size of the array we have declared here? Isn't it? Is it S of zero, one, two, three, four, and top is equal to minus one. This indicates that, yeah, what is the indication here? If top equal to minus one, stack is full? Empty, empty. Stack is full? Now top equal to minus one stack is full or empty? Empty ma'am. Yeah, empty. Okay. Now, so I'm using the in linked list, I'm using top pointer. It is equal to null. That means, do you have any data in uh, linked list? No. It is pointing to some invalid address. So that is null. It indicates that stack is empty. Okay. Now, what I'll do is, so I'll increment the top by one. Okay, so when I increment top by one, it's equal to zero. I'm inserting 10 into the stack. Similarly, at the same time, I want to input 10 into the stack. So for that, I need to create this node, right? So how do I create this node? What is the way I can create this? Yeah, so for that, I'll just show you the code here. Look right here. So, temp. Okay. Stack. You have to type catch because what for what kind of variable you are allocating the memory here? Struct node. Right. So, what is the structure you have created there? Struct node. For that, you have to allocate the memory. How many bytes of the memory is required? For that, you have to use size of operator. This size of operator will find out how much bytes of memory is required in order to store the information of struct node. That is every node information, okay? That many bytes. For example, if it is integer, the moment you use size of, say, int i, size of i, what is size of i? How many bytes it will be returned? When I say size of i, i is an integer variable, how many bytes it will return? Karthik? If I passed, you have to tell me the answer. Size of i. If I say i is an integer variable, how many bytes will be returned? Two, ma'am. Two bytes, okay. But here you are using the pointer, okay. So the moment I use size of struct node, it will return the number of bytes required to store the information of the node, okay. And then you have to typecast this because what is, 
what is the node here? So, or what is the, uh, for which one you are asking the memory here? In order to store the information of the node. So, that is stem is of type struct node star. It's a pointer variable of type struct node. Obviously, you have to typecast this with, with struct node star. And so it will return the starting address of this, uh, like whatever number of bytes is allocated. Okay. The starting address of that block of memory will be returned to the temp. Okay. So that we'll see now. Assume that it's being allocated, say, 1001 is the address of this node. Assume that it returned 1001. Okay. And now in this address, I have to get the data from the user for data, right? In the node, we have, we have two things. One is information to store the information. Okay, so in that information in data, okay, and other one is pointer that is struct node star next. Okay, it this field will hold the address of the next node. Okay, now so how do I get the value for the data field scanf ampersand? Okay, tell me, scan if percentage D ampersand. Okay, if um, say temp, we have allocated memory for temp, temp or data. For temp or data, if I accept 10, then 10 gets stored in this temp, isn't it? Okay, and then so before including this or pushing this node to the stack, check whether top equal to null. Okay, so if top equal to null, what it, it indicates? This is the first data you are inputting into the stack. So now, uh, so what I'll do is 10 <coughs> row next equal to what? I'll make this as top ma'am. Yeah, exactly. 10 row next equal to top. But what is the value stored in the top here? Null, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So now this temporary, uh, sorry, a temp variable will store null address in the pointer field. Okay. Now, can I make this a stop now? Can I make this a stop now? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so what will become top now? Temp so is top. Whichever element is newly inserted, that become top. Now, this is the top node. Now, next, what I'll try to do is, I'll just, I wanted to input one more data. So, top, I'll increment by one in array. And S of top equal to, say, 20. So same thing I want to implement in linked list also. In that case, again, what I have to do during the runtime, I have to allocate the memory for temp pegging, right? So it will return some address, say 2001 is the address written for temp. At this temp, okay, I need to store 20. How do I access the data for uh, data field? Temporo? Next is equals to? Temporo data equal to? What? What is temporo data now? So you can, if you are inputting data from the user, scan if percentage D, Ampersand temp or temp or data. Assume that you have given the input as 20. Then this 
pointer field should point to the temp or you have to hold the address of top so how do i how do i make this uh, make this to happen temp poro next is equal to what afifa new address of temp poro next equal to what top contains address of this node what is the address of this node 1001 okay so now 1001 okay now so how did i make this temp aro next equal to top na this is the one temp aro next equal to top right the moment you are pointing this node to this top now will this any more become top now so which no, one will become top new element yeah so newly inserted what is that temp node right that temp node you have to make it as what top node how do i make that top equal to temp or temp equal to top top equal to temp temp right so i just made this so now can you please um <clears throat> repeat the same thing so when i have explained so now i have incremented top by 1 that is now it's equal to 2 at the index 2 i have inserted 30 again i am requesting memory from the memory from the operating system okay it will return say 3001 is the memory returned from the operating system okay now in this i'm storing 30 and this next should contain what information temp of next equal to top what temp is top top is equal to temp are they not temp or on next equal to top what is the top value here top or on a uh, top value here 2001 is 2001 2001 gets stored here okay so now so what what is top now what is top to temp ha huh. top equal to temp okay is that clear now okay we'll finish up this so similarly similarly i'll increment top by 1 now it's equal to 3 okay so 40 i'm storing here similarly in this node i want to store 40 for that i'll re request memory from the allocate memory from the system okay it will allocate say 4001 is the address of the next node and what is the data we are storing here 40. 40 and 3001 will be address yeah okay sorry um 3001 is the address and uh, this temp will it become top now yes ma'am yeah so this will become top now Okay, is it clear now how we can do this? Yeah. So the yes, moment you insert one more element, so with that top will become full, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Uh, sorry, stack will become full. Okay. Now, if you try to insert one more element into this stack, you can display message that is stack overflow. But in linked list, will it happen like that? no ma'am as long as you have free storage in the computer memory you can keep on Insert. inserting the elements into the stack okay that is the only difference between array and linked list in array you are 
whatever you have allocated that is static memory allocation so you are allocating the memory during the compilation time but here you are allocating the mem memory during the run time it is dynamic memory allocation and as and when you are required you are allocating the memory in the start voltage of linked list over the array okay now we'll come to the program i think this concept is clear to you all is is there any doubt is there any doubt no okay so now look at here uh, i have allocated the memory if temp equal to null okay start that is uh, if it is returning null the, the system is returning null then memory is exhausted in the system so that means you cannot insert any more data into the stack so it will write stack overflow the same thing here how we have implemented top equal to max stk minus 1 if it is that is the case then we are saying stack overflow and we'll return to the main function then again <coughs> look at here so you are required to input data for the stack so how do i input the data for stack here so here i'll input say input data for stack item this item whatever i have accepted from the user that i am assigning it to the temp ro data so temp ro data contains item and so instead of doing like this straight away you can say scan if percentage d this ampersand item instead of using one more variable so it can be replaced with what karthik so can i replace this item with temp ro data yeah then temp or next equal to top top equal to temp okay here the same thing look at here top equal to top plus 1 and s of top equal to item i am displaying every time as soon as i am inserting but here i am not doing that okay yeah next here the pop operation bhavyashree are you there in the class yeah sonu amit amit yes ma'am krishna prasa okay are you following amit yes ma'am yeah krishna prasad yes ma'am yeah thank you so can i proceed further for pop operation yes ma'am yeah okay so now here uh in the pop operation you all know that you are deleting the data from the top okay so whatever we have here same thing i have implemented using linked list so look at here what i need to do here if top equal to minus 1 then stack and flow if top equal to null that indicates stack is empty so return stack as so i write it as stack and at flow okay now so when you have deleted the element from the stack when it is implemented using array you are decrement decrementing the top by 1 but here how do i may like delete the node from the stack okay so for that okay. for that what you are required to do here is so i want to delete the top node okay how do i do that so top equal to what now how do i make how do i can delete this the moment if i say 
top equal to top RO next. I'll just write the diagram like this so that it will be easy for you to follow. Okay. Okay, now top RO next is pointing to which node? Previous node. Correct. Okay, top or next is point to, pointing to which node now? Is it 3001? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so how do I set if I want to make this a stop instead of now presently this is stop? So how do I make this top equal to top or next? So with that, am I pointing or am I making the top of the stack this this node yes yes or no yeah one more way is assign it to temporary pointer say temp equal to temp equal to top arrow next Okay, I'll just uh, clear this. It's not clearly visible. <clears throat> Temp equal to top arrow next. And then, okay, what I have to do now? Top equal to top arrow next. next. Okay, so is temp equal to top or next is correct or temp equal to top is correct because I want to free the memory allocated to this temp. So in that case, what I need top. to do, write, please top. answer fast. Is it top or top or next? Top, ma'am. Top, exactly, you are right. So if I delete, then this also get deleted, or deletes, right? Then link will be lost. It should not happen. So for that reason, uh, allocate like uh, assign address of top to temp and top equal to top RO next. And so you need to return the data or which element is being deleted, right? So for that, uh, you can uh, assign item equal to temp RO data and then free the temp. So with that, am I deleting this node? Yes, am I deleting this node? Yeah, now what is top now? So what top will be now? This, this. Okay. So now with that, I think uh, you can um, do it by yourself. Everything. Yeah. So M equal to top. Top equal to top or next. So that I'm making the top to point to the next node. Okay. Topmost element is being deleted now temp or next equal to null why i am making temp or next equal to null because still this temp is pointing to what top okay now i want to make this as invalid for that temp or next equal to null and i am free like i'll deallocate the memory allocated to temp that's it and peak operation here so what it will do if top is not equal to null, then it will return the data stored in the top of the linked list. Okay, that is top RO data. Otherwise, it will return zero. If zero is returned, what you can assume? So, it is empty stack. So, you are displaying message empty stack and you are returning the value zero. And the remaining all remains same. Look at here, the mean what I have written, similarly I have written for link list also. Isn't it? Yes. Is there any change here? Yeah. So now, so for displaying, so we'll see, how you can do the display? Hmm. 
that we'll see now okay as you all know that if top equal to null it is empty uh, like uh, stack is empty and uh, instead of underflow okay uh, stack empty message it's better to display stack empty yeah then if it is not equal to null anyway you, if it is equal to null it is uh, coming back to the main it uh, control will return back to the main so if it is not equal to null then temp, temp equal to top right so the moment you know temp equal to top okay then how you have to keep on displaying the contents of the stack look at here So till temp not equal to null, you are required to display the contents of the stack here. Okay, temp RO data, it will display the content stored, uh, stored in that node. Okay, then temp equal to temp RO next. So how do I do that? Look at here. Alt enter. Okay. So look at uh, here. So now temp equal to top. Then while how long I have to repeat this displaying the content of the stack temp not equal to null. You are required to do this. Now you are required to display the content of the node temp RO data data print temp RO data. Then how do you move to the next node temp RO? Temp equal to temp RO. Hey, Drapa. Next. So one. this is temp. How do I move to the next node? Temp RO next. Temp RO. Temp equal to next. temp RO next. So now the control will go to this node. Right. Again, display the content of the node that is temp RO data. And then how do you move to the next node? Temp equal to temp RO next. next. So like that, now the moment you reach this, after displaying this content of this node, what is temp RO next? It is equal null. to null. null. So with that, you have displayed all the contents of the stack. So this is how the program will work. Now I'll just show the demo. I'll run. I'll just uh, close this. So first one is push operation. So I will input 10, then again push 20, then again push 30, then again 40, then 50. So we'll see the content, content of the stack now. How do I see the content of the stack? It's equal to four, okay? So is that right what I'm printing? I stop is, uh, Containing 50 only? Yes or no? So we'll see. We'll uh, perform this peak operation. What peak operation will does? It will return the top of the stack. Okay. So what is the top of the stack? It's equal to 50. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes ma okay. Thank you. And then I'll perform this pop operation here. So how do I perform, perform the pop operation? Just uh, 
look at here. So 50 is being deleted now. Again, 40 gets deleted now. So I'll just uh, display the content now. Only three are there. Again, up. Okay. So next 20 gets deleted. So I'll just display the content of the uh, stack here. It is equal to 10. And we'll see peak. Okay. Look at here. 10. Is that right? What we have done? Okay. Again, perform this. Uh, push operate uh, sorry pop operation so with that i have deleted 10 then um, again i'll try to delete one more element from the stack it is sh showing stack under flow condition right now look at here i'll just try to display this so it is printing stack under flow isn't it so yes, instead of stack under flow i have to display the messages stack, stack empty. empty that is ideal Okay, because so when you are displaying, you have to indicate that it is stack is empty. But when you are trying to pop out the element from the stack, so you are trying to pop out the element from the stack, which is already empty. So that time you have to display this stack underflow message. Okay, now I'll just exit from this. Okay, now in display, what modification I need to do here? Instead of stack underflow, I have to make this as yes. Stack empty. Stack empty. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Next is, I'll show how you can, okay, very, very interesting part I'm coming now, how you can trace this linked list program. Because some of you uh, will make a major mistake here uh, when you're pushing the item into the stack, instead of top, what you people will write? Temp equal to top. Okay. Purposely, you write temp equal to top and see, try to push first five elements and try to see what it is going to happen. You have to trace and tell me during the lab hour. That is the assignment for you. Please note down, okay, instead of top equal to temp, you are required to write this statement as temp equal to top and try to push five elements into the stack and then try to display. So what it will display you have to inform to me so now we'll see we'll i'll show you how you can debug this okay so line by line we'll see how to trace this again f7 only f7 so because i'm not interested in menu because menu is working fine so what i'll do is f4 because i don't want to trace it line by line menu okay then so one, I'll just perform push operation here. Okay, then data is say 20. Okay, let me then uh, input as 10 only. Okay. Now, what I'll do is, I'll go to this debug window. In that, you have a inspect verb. Okay, so in that inspect verb, what I'll enter is temp. Okay, so temp is at present it is undefined so we'll open the watch window also i'll just make this as cascade arrangement so that it will be full okay so at present anyway uh, in this uh, program we have not defined name uh, usn and marks that's why it's showing undefined symbol so again what i'll do is i'll just uh, uh, say if okay i'll come back to this window f4 okay now it is uh, let it be one only and then okay 20 yeah So I'll just exit from this. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just clear the in watch window, whatever it's there will uh, clear of this. Okay. So now I'll again show how to debug this. Okay. Line by line. I'll just enter the choices one, 
the moment it will return the points equal to one it will go to this push operation okay so in this push operation we are allocating memory okay for temp so what is the memory allocated that you can see by inspect verb okay that is temp okay look at for temp what is the value written here what is the address written here 0886 is the address written okay now we'll see here f7 f7 okay i'll just input as say 100 okay 100 so i'll just see the inspect verb temp okay temp is already there in second window also all two i'll just go to all two yeah so can you see the address here address of the temp what is the address of the temp here what is the address of temp here it's 0 886 so data so earlier it was 10 so we'll see what data it gets stored here in this case after executing this line of code what the, uh, that uh, node should contain now after executing this line of code can you please tell me yes Look at here, is 100 is being stored here? Is 100, 100 is being stored? Okay, so, yeah, can you reply fast? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so, you got it now? In temp, what is the data stored here now? It is 100. Now, we'll see top. Okay, so top, what was containing in top, we'll see first. Top, okay, look at here, top is containing what address? null address right okay now what we are making temp ro next so what we are doing temp ro next equal to null okay so which one we are becoming uh, making us top now temp when i'm making this top equal to temp here what what data should come what value should come here instead of null 100 ma'am. Yes. 100 ma'am. Allah. It pointer alva. What is the address of this temp? 0886. So what should you, what you have to get here? That address. Yeah, what is the address? 0? 0886. Yeah, exactly. Am I getting that? Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes so ma now, is it pointing to the correct node top? Yes. You may yes. temp as top. Is it not interesting? Look at here. Instead of this, if you would have made temp equal to top, so what is the scenario? Okay. You have to debug like this. Okay. Now, next one is again. Yeah. So we'll go to the menu. Again, what I'll do is look at here. Temp, because you are creating only when you are accepting the data that's why here you cannot able to see what is there in temp right so the moment i enter into this push operation okay okay i'll just go to this push operation look at here can you see it is allocating some memory what is the memory allocated for temp now what is the memory allocated what is the address uh, 0 8 8 e. 0 8 8 uh, e. 8 8 e. Isn't it? Okay. Now it is not equal to null. So it will ask you to enter some data. I'll enter it as 200. Okay. Then F7. Okay. Now look at here. Top was earlier 0 8 8 6. 
Now what I'm doing? Temp R O next equal to top. Temp R O next equal to top means look at here. What is happening here? So can you look at? Is it storing the address of the top here in this? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Temp power on next equal to <coughs> zero eight eight six. Is it? Is it right? So now, which one should become top? Now, top address will be changed to what now? Zero zero C. C eight ma'am, triple zero E. Okay, I'll just uh, yeah. So, what should be assigned to this now? Zero eight eight E. Right. Okay. So I'll just execute now zero eight eight e. Now is this correct? Hmm? Is this correct? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So yes, now uh, I'll just arrange all three. Okay. So, so we'll see now. Uh, uh, first, uh, let me delete both the elements from the stack. So, how many elements are there in the stack now? How many elements are there in the stack now? Can you see the changes here? Top is zero eight eight e. Okay, now after deleting this, what is top? Zero eight eight six. So only one node is that is the node containing data hundred. Now I'll delete that also again. So what should be top now? If I delete that also, null ma'am. Null. Exactly, you are right. Look at. Yeah, am I right? Yes, am I right? Yeah. So this is how it is going to work. So beautifully, we'll trace it now. This one. Um, it's very interesting part. So now you got the idea. What I'll do is I'll do it fast now. Okay. So let me. Uh, I wanted you to explain clearly. You have to give the answer for me. Yes. So push. So what I'll do is I'll again use the inspect verb, say temp, okay? So you are allocating memories. Some memory is allocated to temp. Okay, just go to this temp, all two. Okay, let it be there here. Okay. F7, okay. Say Chen. Can you see the changes? Earlier 100 was there. Now, can you see the changes? Yeah. So, now we'll see what is top now. All D. Okay. Yeah. Um, top. Okay. That is third window. Let me align this th third window here. Okay. Otherwise, let it be here only. Okay. Next, F7. Again, I'll just push the data. Say one. Um, okay. Let's 
so again i use inspect verb chop okay is this we'll see all three is how much so here the top was 10 okay and top or next is null so we'll see what it will contain now okay if seven yeah 20 if seven look at here so now what it should contain top can you able to see the change yes ma'am new value yeah 20 new value isn't it isn't yes, it yes ma'am okay now next again one okay i'll just uh, not see what's happening there uh, in that um, inspect verb i'll just accept <coughs> say 30 yeah then again f7 okay then again i'll just say f7 okay okay sorry uh, you know, mad than I'm galactic. Very enough people have pressed mad. I'm very sorry. I'll just uh, do it. I'm sorry. One. I want to show some important thing here for that. Again, I'm tracing. Sorry. Okay, one. So, getting know how to trace this and how to get this window. All of you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is most important thing you need to know when you are tracing. I'll just say no because otherwise, again, it will uh, start the program once again. Um, look at, uh, it is 20 now. Okay. So now, 20, if seven. Again, one thirty. What is this? Uh, a last uh, time, yeah. Uh, I'll do one thing. So it's, uh, I don't know, like uh, while pressing uh, fast, I'm doing tracing now. I'm uh, choosing some other option. That's why it's going from the this one. So last uh, you know, try we'll do is, okay, so F7. Yeah, I'll just make this as F4 so that it will be fast for you. Okay, one, okay, then say 10. Okay, so again, F4, one, okay, 20. Then again, I'll just press it as uh, F4, 1, 30. I'll just make this as again F4, 1, 40. Okay, I'll just make this again F4, 1, 50. Okay, now, so I'll just see the uh, all windows that is um, all four. Uh, all three, all one, okay, nothing is there. All D, I'll just press, this, press that as top now, okay. So now what is the top it is containing here? 50, am I right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, can you please now, you have to be proactive, yeah. Otherwise, I cannot uh, show this interesting part of this. So is this correct? Yeah, it is pointing yes, to which node? the node having the address 089e now i'll just click on this look at the beauty of this so top arrow next is pointing to the, the node whose address is 089e okay look at here address of this node is 
uh, 089E and data stored in that is 40. And again, if I press on next, look at here, the next node address is what? What is the value you have stored? 0896. So am I right? Yeah, here. Yeah. Do you have 0896 only here? In this address, data stored is 30 and it's pointing to the next node whose address is 088E. Look at here, 088E is the address of the next node and data contained in that field is 20 and the next pointer is pointing to the node whose address is 0886. Now, the data contained in 0886 is 10 and now temp or next equal to null. Is that right? This is what the data I have inputted into the stack. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, is it not interesting to know how you can debug this? Look at internally. So top was 50 and its address. Address field is storing 8089E. In that 089E, it is 40. And next node is 30. Next is 20. Next is 10. Then next is, next of this node is null. You got the idea now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, all of you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So I'll just one operation I'll perform now. So pop operation. <coughs> Two. Okay. So now what is top now? What sh top should contain now? Which element should be there in the top? Is it 40 or 50? Is that right now? 40. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So still, now the remaining content of the stack remains same. Look at here. So it's everything is, is same. Now, again, if I perform this op operation, Okay, so once I have done the, uh, what is the top of the stack now? What element it should contain? Is it right? 30? Okay, again, I'll perform pop operation. Okay, now look at here. Its top is now, it is 20. Okay, next again, alt, uh, sorry. F4 I'll press again. I'll perform pop operation. Look at here. All T inspect verb top. It's now 10. Okay. So if I delete this element also from the stack, uh, so I'll just make alt one. Okay. So I'll just perform again this. Okay. Now with that, it will be null. Have you deleted all the elements? Okay, yes, now look at top of the stack. Okay, sorry. Um, so all the top of the stack should be null, right? You got the idea how you can uh, trace it and how to know that what address it is storing is right or not. So the moment uh, if I get this idea, it's very uh, like uh, with this you can able to trace whatever address you are storing the next field, are you storing the right address or not? Isn't it, is it, is it not uh, interesting thing? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? You feel that I'm wasting time? No, ma'am. Yeah, so you want this kind of, kind of uh, uh, this way of teaching or not? So I'll just quit from this now. You please take a break. I know um, I have taken so much time now. Uh